The LG V20 and the Huawei Mate 9 are the embodiment of some of the latest tech we saw for the first time in 2016. Each of these two phablets has superpowers of its own. Yes, different is good, but which is better? We intend to find out. The first round in this face-off is looks and hardware features. Huawei has the upper hand with the fact that it has fitted a bigger screen and a bigger battery in a body that's as big as the V20s. While the Mate 9 is heavier, yes, perhaps a bit thicker too, but the rounded back distributes this beautifully. The Mate 9 is definitely the looker of the two. The LG V20 would withstand drops more safely with its military standard drop compliance. It also has a removable back cover, so you can swap batteries easily if you need to. Both phones have their fingerprint readers on the back. The reader on the V20 is somewhat harder to find without looking, but it also doubles as a really good power button. The Mate 9's reader is also the faster one, triggering within just a fraction of a second, while the V20 is slower to turn its screen on. Both phones have USB-C ports, but the Mate 9 is wired only for USB 2.0 speeds. The LG V20 supports the much faster 3.0 standard, but LG didn't include the right cable for it, so you will be getting USB 2.0 speeds without a new cable. Looks are subjective, but we'll call this round a tie. These are some of the best tablets on the market today, and each is stunning in its own way. Our next round is about the displays. Both devices use some of the best LCDs on the market, the Mate 9's is physically bigger, but the V20's has almost twice the number of pixels. Their maximum brightness is pretty close, but Huawei's has deeper blacks, better contrast, and is less reflective. Images really pop on the Mate 9's display. The second screen on the V20 really counts here as well, and you can use it not only for notifications, we especially like it for multitasking. It can almost act as the taskbar does on a computer, allowing you to quickly switch between apps without invoking the task switcher. Again, we'll call this round a tie. If you count the LG's secondary display, you could say that both devices have similar size screens. LG's screen is sharper, but Huawei's counters with better contrast. Battery life is an intriguing aspect of a smartphone's performance. The Mate 9 not only has the bigger battery of the two, but it's also got the faster charging, which is as equally important. You can charge its battery from 0 to 90% in only one hour. If there is one area where the V20 disappointed us, it has to be battery performance. The Mate 9 will give you almost twice the web browsing endurance, although when it comes to talk time, both phones were pretty close. The battery champion of the duel has to be the Huawei Mate 9. It's got a longer lasting battery that also charges faster than the V20s. Both phones come with the latest iteration of Google's OS, Android 7.0 Nougat, which means you get to benefit from all the new features. For starters, these include native support for multi-window, but there are also lots of tweaks to the notifications interaction. Notifications from a specific app are bundled together, and you can also quickly reply to messages straight from the notification area. You can quickly switch between the most recent apps, and there are other improvements under the hood like Doze Mode. Interestingly, both LG and Huawei have decided to hide the app drawer to offer a user interface similar to the iPhones, but at least they give you the option to bring it back. We like how Huawei allows you to have app twins, supporting two instances of the same app with different accounts. The LG V20, on the other hand, leverages its secondary screen to give you one-tap access to recent apps. In some LG apps, this screen even shows additional controls. As for the preloaded apps, we have got to say that LG has put more effort into offering value-added features in its own apps. We love that pervasive cloud integration in the multimedia apps. And also, the manual controls in the sound recorder are unique. The Huawei Mate 9 still scored a narrow victory in the software round, mainly for its more advanced system settings and app twins. In this next round, we'll measure the phone's performances. If synthetic benchmarks are to have their say, the Mate 9 excels in both multi-threaded and single-threaded tests. The LG V20, however, does better in graphics, but only if the graphic-intensive content is rendered at 1080p resolution. If a game title is rendered in the V20's native QHD resolution, the frame rate would drop below the one offered by the Mate 9. The only area where the V20 really takes back the lead is storage performance. With a faster random write speed, app performance should be better. The winner in this round is the Mate 9. Huawei has a really snappy processor, 
but the LG is unable to make full use of the Snapdragon's potential. The Huawei Mate 9 has an interesting stereo speaker setup, and depending on whether you hold the phone in portrait mode or landscape, the earpiece will be either used as a mere tweeter or as a full-blown second speaker for some stereo action. The V20's claim to fame is the quad DAC audio support through the headphone jack. They allow you to drive large headphones without noise, but in terms of raw audio quality, the Huawei came close. The win here depends on whether you like to blast music through your speakers or use your own personal headphones. The loud stereo speakers on the Mate 9 are a plus, but the LG V20's more versatile use of headphones, both wired and wireless, are superior. Both phones come with two main cameras, but each has its own unique setup. The marriage of a black and white sensor with a color one on the Mate 9 has allowed high quality digital zoom, beautiful software generated bokehs, and of course, awesome black and white photos. By contrast, the LG V20 doesn't superimpose the images of its two cameras, but instead its second camera comes with an ultra wide lens, which is amazing for taking landscape photos and shooting in tight spaces. The LG V20 camera has plenty of resolving power and will capture more fine detail than the Mate 9 in almost all situations. It's also better in preserving the highlights even though it may be its weak spot. Sometimes whites don't come bright enough when the photos have a slight tint to them. Overall, we preferred the Leica look of the Huawei Mate 9. It offers more pleasing colors even though they can get over the top in some scenes. We do appreciate the more natural rendering of plants and foliage. And you can even get more by shooting in RAW for more advanced editing. Come nightfall though, and the LG V20 camera handles itself better. Photos have more noise, but more detail too. The OIS prevented handshake from spoiling photos, though the autofocus missed a few shots. As for video recording, the playing field seemed quite level at first with both phones having 4K capabilities and optical stabilization. Our tests showed that the LG V20 has somewhat of an advantage in image quality in 4K, and its array of mics is better at filtering out wind noise. Going down in resolution to 1080p, it's the LG V20 that maintained flagship quality while the Mate 9 just missed the mark, especially at higher frame rates. Not to mention that focus peaking and manual controls for video recording is something only LG offers. As for selfies, the Mate 9 dominated the competition, mostly thanks to the autofocus. It allowed it to snap a sharp image most of the time, while the V20's shots came out blurry regardless of the distance at which we shot. This round wasn't even a fair fight. The Huawei Mate 9 selfie camera knocked out its competition. With image quality heavily in its favor, we don't even mind that you can't change the field of view on this camera like you can on the V20. There's no such thing as the ultimate phone in this duo. There's only the right phone for you. So while both phones have their strengths and weaknesses, some weaknesses are easy to overlook, but it would be up to you, the user, to make that call.